Hey there, Ryan Dragon SC here again, making another video. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about. Uh, on the ground, I have lots of stuff. I don't know why. I just left it here. Give you a little view of what we got on the ground, what crap we got. Laptop, so I'm getting ready to show you something. Black Knight. Tons of tools everywhere. Tool bag, another tool. Battery, receiver ESC and battery. Remote, Traxxas catalog. Everything. Now to get this camera back where it was. So, yeah, that's what's on the ground. Lock it down. I'm a little under the weather lately, so. Yeah, this video's gonna go kinda slow. Alright, so, as, well, none of you know, unless you've watched my other videos, which no one has, except for freaking, I think I have 20 views so far. Yay. Okay, so, when I said I wanted to do a build, it kinda turned into something a little extreme now. I do want to do a build, actually. Right. You probably can't see because the stupid lights back there. Should have turned those off for us. There you go. RC four-wheel drive Worminator body. Er <laughs> oh, I told you this was gonna be slow. All right, RC four-wheel drive Worminator six by six chassis. There, I can speak. That was it crawling over top of a low-C micro. Here's another picture, and lots of pictures of them. I'm sorry if you're reading this backwards. Uh, I've seen lots of really good builds of them. Uh, well, for example, there's the one that, um, there's the ones that RC Four Wheel Drive have on their actual web page of it build that one of their workers did. Highlighted one right there. Uh, I think it was a man cab body and a flatbed trailer. This is the picture of it next to the beast. The smaller one's the Worminator, the bigger one's the beast. I don't really want the beast. The beast is more of a... Uh, I'm, I'm dead right now in the brain. I'm dead. Uh, the, Beast, I've heard it's more of a uh, <laughs> scale vehicle that you build scale things off of. Worminator, I've seen more of in the actual crawling area. But still, I've only seen at max. There's 20 videos of them on YouTube. That's me looking everywhere for a period of over three months. Thinking about how to build this. First, I wanted to do a bullhead body. And then I grew a brain and realized that the bullhead body is for eighth scales and Worminator chassis is a tenth scale. And I was just like, you know, those scales don't match up. I had trouble finding a tenth scale until I stumbled upon other Worminator build videos. This is from Daniels on scale4x4rc.com. Or dot org, excuse me. Sorry, I just lost my place in the page. God dang it. Alright, this is... Daniels says that this is a recent event in Vienna. Trial and fun day at Big Mike. At took really nice shots of the Worminator in action. Excuse me if I am pissing anybody off. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I don't know if I'm infringing anything. He did it with a Tamiya... Still a Tamiya, but it's a 14th scale, 14th scale King Hauler that he, in the next picture you'll see this, shortened into a day cab right there. Underneath the cab you can still see the RC4 wheel drive logo. I have lots of pictures of this guy on my iPod, but for some reason my laptop will not load the pictures on this form except for the ones that Big Mike took. I like it. It's got the roll bar, just a single roll bar, 
Looks pretty sweet. Uh, mostly flatbed. I guess it's alright, but... I would like to do it more, um, 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 uh, Bondo Nuts 6x6 recovery truck, if you guys have seen that, I don't, I don't it's just stupid if this works, I'm trying to show you some pictures on my iPod, uh, yeah, if anyone has seen Bondo Nuts, uh, 6x6 recovery truck, it is amazing, some pictures of it on here, uh, let's see, what do we have? The actual truck itself. Bondo Nuts Heavy Recovery Truck. Heavy Mental. This is not going... Wait, yeah, it is. Heavy Mental. I like that. That's a very nice truck. With the Baja claws on it. Uh, lay down tow bar on the back of it. So yeah, I want to do it kind of like that, but with the body on it, and yes, I do want to have a main winch like his stupid lights. Just want to have a main winch in the back. I'm sorry for doing that little iPod stunt right there, that was stupid. Uh, I have already done a servo winch mod, where is it, where is it, it's over here. I know this, I know this, uh, here. On my heli! Yay! Took a Traxxas servo, did a servo winch mod, look it up on YouTube. Stupidly easy. On this, on the one that the guy did on YouTube, the main one that I looked up, he did a metal geared servo. So he actually had to cut a pin and take the pin out. This one I had to cut two plastic tabs, glue the potentometer in, and that was it. Easiest 20 minutes. 20 minute mod I ever did in my life. And it actually works. I like it. So I was gonna mod the servo, make a servo winch, like the picture I just showed you with the camera. <coughs> and I do want it to have like the flatbed like this, like an actual competition looking flatbed for actual crawling. But I also want to do shows with it, and I have 13% 13% battery power left, so that's it for the laptop. <sighs> Don't have a charger down here. So I do want it to have like interchangeable beds. That would be pretty cool. But other than interchangeable beds, that would just be about all I do. Uh, Black Knight, little update for you there. The Black Traxxas Wrestler. I did something so stupid to it the other day, which is why this is on the ground. The llamas, helicopters, receiver, and ESC. <laughs> what I did was I plugged the battery into the ESC, plugged the ESC into the receiver so that it powered the receiver up, and I plugged the steering and throttle servos into the receiver. And then <laughs> I couldn't, on this remote control, you can't. I don't know of a way other than modding that you can put throttle on left thumb, but I had it so that right thumb up and down was throttle, and left thumb left and right was steering. So then I had this stupid idea because I, you know, am that stupid sometimes. I wanted to do it like a regular moat. Do I have any in the trash can? my new term for that box, the trash can? I'm gonna go behind the camera here. Where am I going? I don't even think I'm gonna find one back here is one. Here's what I wanted to make it like. I'm back here. A Nico where left thumb's throttle. I wanted to do it like that. But since I'm so stupid that way, I had it to where it was reversed and while holding the remote upside down you could actually do it. I have no idea why I did that. I just stated that on camera. I'm just that stupid. Plus, I had to fit a whole. I had besides the Venom Power 3000 model uh, nickel metal hydride that I shoved in there that you shove in the chassis. I also had to fit the lipo for the actual receiver in there. I have to have a separate battery for it because I have not wired anything in. But since that 
ESC's burnt out, I might as well rip the wires out of it and make a wiring setup. That is the 10 minute mark on the camera. But yeah, what uh, Daniels did, he just took a Timia King hauler body, cut it off right there at the back, cut it off, put a slab in the back, and made it walled off, and made it a day cab. I really want to do that because here I go doing something stupid with my iPod again. Kind of hate Apple sometimes, kind of love them. I, I don't really prefer anybody. Why does everything I have have low battery now? This is a picture before he shortened the cab with the actual sleeper on it. Not that much room on the back of the chassis, plus the tires actually. In this picture, it looks like it's just about to rub the back of the sleeper, so. If I were to do that, which I am, I'm gonna cut off it and make it a day cab like Daniels did. I'm out of breath right now. I'm sorry. Other than that, still working on getting a new ESC in. Still need to clean up around here. Still need to do a video of this guy. I have one, I just haven't posted it yet. I'll post it after this one. Just a little spoiler here. It was a Friday, two weeks ago, South Carolina, District 5, we got sent home early because it was sleeting. Hey, the most we've gotten all year. I think this is supposed to be the only, that was the only thing we got all year. It was sleeting. Uh, went out on the back deck. The only thing that was frozen besides the stairs. Back deck was covered in ice. We have a huge deck, so I was just like, you know what? I'm going to take that outside. It's waterproof. <laughs> Started doing circ. It was drifting heaven. I could drift, jump three feet, land, do endless donuts in one spot on it with a two-wheel drive. So that was pretty cool. I could do donuts in place with a two-wheel drive. So I liked that. Uh, that's probably going to be it for this video because I'm tired. I just set the remote down somewhere. Curse me. Right in front of the camera where the batteries are. Why am I so stupid sometimes? Other than that, I've been working on the... Black Knight over there, trying to even the steering up with the turnbuckles. <sighs> trying to even the steering up, not working that well. I'm going to attempt video editing. Don't laugh at me. If I fail at video editing in the next couple videos that I'm going to do, don't. Please don't judge me on it. It's going to be the first time I've ever video edited. <laughs> edited a video in my life. Finally, I said it. There. Uh, see in the next video, I'll probably post the one where I'm drifting around the back deck. It'll be a soon after this one.